Hello, I'm Tammy Brungard, the Site Administrator for the Early Childhood Education Center. The purpose of the Early Childhood Education Center is to prepare children to be lifelong learners and strengthen families. At the Early Childhood Education Center, we have Head Start, Early Head Start, and Child Care Services. The ECEC also manages the certificate program funded by the CCDF program or the Child Care Development Funds. At the Early Childhood Education Center, we have over 100 staff and can serve 246 children on site and an additional 20 home-based children. We have site-wide expectations at the Early Childhood Education Center for staff and for children, and that is to be safe, be caring, and be a friend. The Early Childhood Education Center staff have prepared videos to let you know what they do to support the children and families at the ECEC. Thanks for watching. Hi, my name is Deborah DeVold. I'm the Assistant Program Manager overseeing the program for infants and toddlers, which includes Early Head Start and Extended Day Services for children. The Early Childhood Education Center Early Head Start Services began in mid-2012. Previously, only child care services were available for children under three years of age. Our program for infants and toddlers provides services for 80 center-based Early Head Start children and 20 home-based Early Head Start children. An additional 16 children birth to three years of age are served due to the high demand of educational services for this younger population. Child care, or what we call extended day services, are offered for those who need full day child care services for their children. As the assistant program manager, I hire, train, and supervise the staff in Early Head Start, ensure that the Early Head Start standards are met, and high quality educational services are provided for these young children. The focus in the infant toddler program is social and emotional development, learning to manage emotions, interact and play alongside or with others, and go to trusted adults for support are key to future learning. I enjoy these children so much. Watching them grow and develop has been a rewarding experience these past 10 years since I came on board at the Early Childhood Education Center. It's been an honor that you have allowed me to do what I love because you bring your children to school every day. It is my pleasure to serve you and your family. Hi, welcome to the Early Childhood Education Center. My name is Barbara Parker White. I am Assistant Program Manager. My role is to provide management and oversight of the Head Start, also known as preschool classrooms. My experience in Head Start started in 1980 as a parent, and I have spent over 35 years working for families and children in Head Start programs. It is my honor and pleasure to be here at Salt River Schools. I hope to see you in the future. Have a wonderful day. Hash ECC families, Aniana Chigik, Jessica Begay. I am the Family Services Coordinator here at ECEC. Our Family Services team recruits children and families and assists with enrollment into the ECEC. Our team supports parents and families in their ECC journey, and this includes family engagement activities. ECEC has two Early Head Start parent educators. Carrie Hodge and Donna Hewlett provide home visiting services for families prenatal through two years old. Each ECC family has a family advocate. Our family advocates are Amber Murray, Pamela Prasher, Lisette Rincon, Judy Santeo, and Martha Villalobos. Family advocates support family well-being, strengthening parent-child relationships, and engaging families in the learning and development of your child. You will have many opportunities to work with your family advocate. One example is completing a family partnership agreement. This is where you can set goals for you and your family. We will celebrate your strengths, assist you with any struggles or concerns, and connect you with community resources. We also have Carmen Riones, who is our family involvement specialist. She helps with organizing school events, family involvement, and supporting community partnerships. ECEC uses Ready Rosie as our parenting curriculum. Ready Rosie has free, short, and simple parenting videos that are available for all ECEC families. Your child's teacher will email a link for registration soon. 
Skadash, Aniana Chige Crying Williams. I am the language and culture specialist here at ECEC. My position is to bring the author language into the classrooms by creating lessons centered around the language that the children and staff can learn from. Starting from the infants on up to the pre-K children, it is my job to bring all the words and phrases that are age appropriate into the classrooms, either by playing with the children or using technology like the smart boards in the classroom. This year's goal was to give as much support as I can to our classroom staff because they are with our children all day and can create the repetition needed to help our little speakers learn more words and phrases. Our curriculum is based on simple concepts such as introductions, numbers, colors, and basic commands like come here, sit down, and let's eat. I look forward to meeting and teaching all the kids and seeing them in their new classrooms this year. Hi, my name is Becca Wilson. And I'm Marcel Rivera. And we are the Behavior Intervention Counselors here at the Early Childhood Education Center. We want to take a few minutes to let you know who we are and how we support the children here on site. Young children can have mental health needs. Infant and early childhood mental health refers to a child's developing capacities to experience, regulate and express a range of emotions, develop close relationships with other children and adults, actively explore their environments, and learn. This is sometimes referred to as social and emotional development. Some young children have difficulty regulating and expressing their emotions or understanding the emotions of others. They may have difficulty forming close relationships and may be reluctant to explore their environment. Children's social and emotional development is an important part of their being ready for and successful in school. As behavior intervention counselors, we work together to make sure that all children are on track with their social and emotional development. And if some children are experiencing challenges, we help staff and families, caregivers, learn how to address this quickly and effectively. We work with teachers and other staff so they know how to promote the social and emotional development of children in our care. Yeah, behavior intervention counselors listen to families. Family members are the most important teachers and nurturers in a child's life. If you are concerned about your child's social and emotional development, you can ask your child's teacher about a behavior intervention counselor coming into the classroom to help. Your child's teacher might already be working with one of us and can share strategies that they have learned with you. The more that families and teachers work together, the better children do in school. When, when one of us gets involved, teachers are better equipped to help children, and children are more successfully academically, socially, and emotionally too. Now I'm gonna leave you with one of the strategies and the breathing strategies that we teach here to everybody here at ECEC. It's called the STAR. So we do stop, take a deep breath, and relax. We're really looking forward to this next school year and getting to know you, your children, and your families. Hello, ECEC families. My name is Teresa Romero. I am the education specialist for this center. I oversee curriculum and instruction. A component of that are the teacher mentors. Shamay Masma, Ani Anab Chigik, Lisa Marie Lopez, teacher mentor. Skutash, I'm Nikki Goodman, teacher mentor. Skutash, Ani Anab Chigik, Tiani Lane, teacher mentor. Teacher mentor's role at ECEC is to provide resources and support to help ensure that teachers are implementing effective classroom teaching practices. Hi, I'm Melinda Hansen. I'm ECEC's Health and Nutrition Coordinator. I've had the privilege of working here in the community for 16 years. I want to share with you a little bit about what I do here. I work closely with ECEC teaching staff to ensure that the most up-to-date safety and sanitation protocols are in place, especially during these times. ECEC offers training to staff on cleaning, sanitizing, and disinfecting both their classrooms and the playground. ECEC offers transportation services to families, especially those who are experiencing a hardship getting their children to and from school. If you're interested in bus services, give us a call so we can help you connect you with transportation. Speaking of riding safely to and from school, ECEC staffs two child passenger safety technicians that are here to answer your questions about car seat safety. We provide education and we also offer car seats for those who are in need. The Early Childhood Education Center knows that healthy children, safe children are ready to learn. 
excited to start a new year and we're happy to have you here. Call us anytime. Welcome back Salt River families. My name is Kim Cohill. I'm the coordinator for Exceptional Student Services at ECEC. Our goal is to provide the support and services for your young child and nurture their developmental skills as they continue on with their education and their period of time here at our site. Again, we welcome you back and hope to have an exceptional year. Hi, my name is Elizabeth Kumbrick. I am the CCDF Certificate Program Liaison. We are a federally funded program that offers financial assistance for childcare to eligible Native families. In order to apply, you must meet the following requirements. Children must be enrolled in a federally recognized tribe or pending enrollment. Children must be between the ages of six weeks and 12 years old. The parent or parents must be working a minimum of 20 hours per week, attending school part-time, or participating in a job training and meeting those requirements. You must be residing in the following areas, Mesa, Phoenix, Glendale, Scottsdale, Tempe, or the Salt River Lehigh Reservation. If you feel like you meet the requirements, please contact me at 480-362-2251. My email is listed as well. My work cell phone is 480-208-5755. Applications are also available at the front desk inside ECEC. We look forward to meeting with you and working with your family. Thank you.